Hello and welcome to Green Pass Gaming. This is Puxley here today and I'm going to very quickly show you some Xbox Cloud Gaming uh, playing some Destiny 2. So I've, I'm, I've recently updated my phone contract so this is now running on a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and I also have my PlayStation 4 controller hooked into the phone via Bluetooth. And as you can see I'm moving through the menus now. We're on the cloud setting and we're going to be jumping straight in to Destiny 2. So let's wait for it to set up and give it a quick go. So the main reason we want to do this is mainly just to kind of demonstrate how how well cloud gaming works really. I mean I've I tweeted recently about how I gave this a go and I'm very much impressed with how well it seems to work given that this is Maybe this isn't quite a Twitch shooter or something more fast-paced like Call of Duty, but nonetheless, it's a first-person shooter. It's a massive open-world online game. So I think it's a, a great candidate to kind of test to see how well this kind of game plays. So let's jump straight into it. As you might be able to see in the top left, just a minute ago, you saw like a signal bar. That's kind of the, well, that's the signal strength of the streaming service. So I have had a few, I wouldn't call them issues, but I have had a few moments where that will momentarily drop down before jumping back up again, which can very minimally impede with uh, some of the game, but it's only momentary. And to remember, this is very early days yet for something like Game Pass. So I'd only, well, I'd be convinced that this will only get better as time moves on. And with any luck, we'll enter the loading screen very shortly. I'm entering a load of loading sequences, as you can probably see. And it's still loading. Here we go. Okay, so I'm on the main menu. Here I am, moving my little controller around. I have jumped in very quickly earlier, but I so say this is only going to be a quick demo. So I'm going to very quickly create a, a new character, uh, just so we can demonstrate the beginning sequence because I know it doesn't take overly long to load at that point. Uh, so I believe this second one should be my new one here, 750. Should wait for the character to load just to, for me to verify that. Uh, maybe not, let's just click into it because I know the other one was two, uh, 751. So I believe at the moment the cloud gaming services which Xbox use are, I believe they're equivalent to running Xbox One S's and I believe they, in time they are going to be improved to be the equivalent of a One X or maybe a Series X, so let's see. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually now I'm your ghost and you? Well you've been dead a long time. So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. So some things which you may notice on some of the larger games like this, which I have noticed on games like Forza Horizon 4 when I had a go at cloud streaming on that game, is that you do sometimes get audio glitches. Although to be fair, I haven't seen it so far in my experience of Destiny 2, but let's see, we'll see what happens today. So I'm not going to spend much time exploring or anything like that, but I am going to mainly just kind of run through the beginning sequence. This place is an old cosmodrome, a Russian spaceport. And just to reiterate, I am playing on a PS4 controller, so most of pretty much all of the bottom button prompts work exactly the same. But of course, if I see something that says to press X, of course that means square in relation to the PlayStation 4 controller. And not X, because that's the jump button, which is A, like that. To get you back to the city. That was my fault then running into that wall. <laughs> that wasn't any lag input at that point. To find you a weapon. Let's keep moving. Careful. They're all around us. And again, running into that wall. When you're sprinting, you can't turn quick enough. That's why I ran into that wall. Hard military system. Check. So you could just say I'm not the greatest player, but to be fair, I'm, I haven't really jumped into Destiny too much, so I am a new player, so to speak. Press 
press and hold, okay. I brought you back for a reason, Guardian. You're a Titan. That means you're a fighter. So be ready, because we're deep in enemy territory. Ah, that was my mistake. I was trying to press the melee button, but I was pressing the uh, left bumper rather than the right one. That was my fault. <laughs> Again, no input lag there. That was just me pressing the wrong buttons. Now I've got a grenade. There we go. That's L1. Or left bumper, I should say. Alien pirates picking at humanity's remains. Speaking of pirates, there's a loot cache. Let's take what's inside. Oh, this isn't a time to reload, is it? So as you probably be able to tell, you sometimes do get some graphical changes when the signal quality from your home router tends to maybe drop in and out a tiny bit, but in my personal opinion, on when you're playing on a small screen like this, and especially if you just wanted to try the game out, I think it's perfectly forgivable, and it, it, for me, it definitely doesn't impede on the experience. Right behind me. Seeing as the music stopped, I'm going to assume that's everyone. Now let's keep going. Keep pushing forward. I'll locate a ship we can use to fly home. Yes, sir. Please do that. Let's have a look. So I can't, we're outside now, so it looks pretty nice environment outside. It's a bit of different perspective as to what is possible with cloud gaming, well, not just the uh, smaller inside spaces, but it seems to nicely render and stream these kind of more detailed outdoor areas as well. Yeah, I believe at this point now, as you can probably see, there's icons there. I believe I believe there's real players here now as well. I believe they load in this sequence. Because this part of the game, I believe, just re uh, just restarts over and over again infinitely. There's some guys up here. Let's jump and take this guy out. Keep fighting. I'm scanning for nearby ships. I thought I had someone. Someone else as well? Jeez. That's alright. I'm not struggling too much at this point.
60% of the uh, combatants defeated now. Let's melee this guy. Oh, and this one. In the face. You're doing great. Focus on the ball. I'm aware I'm low on health as well. Throw a grenade, I'm meant to punch. So we're 90% of the way there now. I'm aware I've got a uh, objective complete now. Let's just very quickly take this out. I don't think it's going to take too much longer. Guardian, we have to go. He's almost dead, he's almost dead, we can do this. Oh, this is good. <laughs> there we go, it's taken out. And with that, as I'm running low, let's quickly get this finished. Along with this chat. When we get to the city, you'll start to understand why I brought you <laughs> I think we both thought that door would open then. The promise of a brighter future and the traveler. Wait till you see it. Here we go. Let's take that ship. Oh, not time to reload. And I thought that would have bigger area damage in that. Ah, swap back to this one. Let's take a look at your new ship. Right, and I think that basically does it for the intro section of Destiny 2 on Cloud. I suppose we'll just very quickly watch the cinematic sequence just to finish things off and I think I will leave the video there just give it a moment to load it's been here a while hasn't made a jump in centuries we're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked a clean will it fly I can make it work. So all in all, I I think it runs absolutely fantastic. I mean, yes, you do get some of the graphical glitches now and again where you might very momentarily lose some um, stronger signal quality connection, but 
Outside of that, I find games like this perfectly playable, and especially if you just wanted to jump in and try it out and not have to go through a 100 gigabyte plus download. I mean, this is an absolutely fantastic way to jump in. I mean, for those of you watching who may not be aware, um, Cloud Gaming is available on game on a Game Pass Ultimate subscription only at the moment. It is not part of the normal Game Pass for PC or just console versions. It's only the Ultimate you can do this on. Um, but assuming, I mean, I'm going to assume that if you have an Xbox already or you're thinking about getting an Xbox Series S or X in the future, it's definitely worth investing in, I believe. Uh, in the UK, it's £10.99 per month, and that covers you for your... That does your Xbox Live Gold subscription. That gives you Game Pass for PC access, and it also gives you Game Pass for console access, of course, and it gives you access to Xbox Cloud Gaming, so you can jump into all of this stuff for £10.99 a month. And I thoroughly enjoyed this, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as well. Let's just quickly skip this. <laughs> I hope you guys watched, uh, enjoyed watching this video as well. Um, if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, oh, it's doing a loading sequence now. Yep. So yeah, please make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Flap and I plan to do more gameplay videos in the future alongside our weekly podcasts. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.